for players today in our commentary team and also in our production team. We've got Ronnie Brains off down at Leopold doing at Leopold Newtown. We've got a few in there, so we've had to bring Dave Primer off in a change bench this afternoon for special comments. The living legend at Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club who's hung the boot up finally again for the, what's this, the 27th time now, Gus? No, just the first. <laughs> hung the boot up, so he's going to join uh, myself in special comments this afternoon. We've had to bring back one of the old boys from the guest video. Hey, Sean Cannon's been camera work this afternoon, and Brett Ravier's stairs just mucking around as usual. So, uh, a couple of boys off the interchange bench. I guess I haven't seen East Belmont this year. Have you ever seen either? I'm concerned to, as to date, but uh, apparently the proof is each week goes on, so it's going to be a reasonably good game today. It certainly will be, actually. Uh, they've probably got one of their best chances to win a game this uh, today, I'd say, for the start of the season. They haven't won a game as yet. Geelong West, uh, the Chiefs will be looking for to win to get them back on track, won't they? Yep, they're looking to turn themselves around between each other during the week and uh, they've made a few different changes. If you look out around the ground now, all of a sudden we've seen a, a few different changes. So, um, yeah, so it's going to be pretty good. We certainly have. We've uh, now with full forward. Is, uh, if Ron Payne was here, he would not absolutely believe that Kekkeoi is at full forward for Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club. You don't see that too often. So uh, that's one of the changes. And, uh, well... We'll just have a look around. Frank Ianelli looks to be on half-back flank on Ernie Bosman. And in the middle for uh, Salt West, Justin Ingwerson, who's a, an addition to the side. Brett Wigmore and Stewie Scott as the umpire raises the ball for the start of the first quarter. GDFL round eight here at Baker's Oval. Trevor Keegan and Chuck work for East Belmont, the captain of the Lions. He gets the first tap down too. Travis Kelly's there. He's kicked smothered. He gets it again, though. Pushed it towards Stewie. The big man laps out there on the wing now. It's moved quickly towards the wing. They've got the numbers of Belmont. Good play, though, by Ladder. Taps it to his opposite number in Keegan. Handball over the top. Johnny Lyon, close to the boundary line. Hasn't got the ball there. Gets a push in the back. And will take the free kick. Ingwerson was the man there who pushed Johnny Lyons in the back. He'll take the free kick in front of the box. We're on the uh, scoreboard side of West Oval today. As it comes out towards Lakino. Pushed in towards a pack at half forward now. Got the numbers, though. Lehman, it's over his head. Pushed in there towards Sam Lakino. It's close towards the boundary line. I think might be out now. And that's going to be, you see the camera there. It's a bit windy here at uh, Baker's Oval this afternoon. And Sean Cannon's got the uh, got the string in to hold us here. So we might not be here after half time. The wind keeps going. It's a pretty windy day. Ladder looking a bit uh, properly after that last contest there, Jason. Yeah, he does a bit actually. Goes to do the ruck work now against Keegan. He looks like a samurai this afternoon. Keegan, he gets the tap down. Close to the boundary line again. Stern gets his kick away. Right boot, long towards Sutherland. Neil's up there also. Ha getting a hand to it there was Damien Kelly. Falls to the back of the pack, running onto it there. Cam Buchanan can't grab it, and the second attempt gets wrapped up, loses the ball, they've got the numbers now, West Ingwerson spins out of a tackle, out of another one, handball across to Scragger Craig, left foot kick towards Ladder, close to the boundary line, he's been able to mark it, keep it in and play on quickly. He was going to handball, now he goes long, kicks it, oh, high coming there <coughs> was Jamie Legal going high, and a free kick's going to be found, East Belmont's going to go to Scott Robe on the wing position. So, uh, Robe now. Right foot kick up towards centre half for Sutherland behind on this occasion. Coming across Wigmore, can't take the mark. Frank Gianelli's there, handball. Stewie Scott running through the middle now. Left foot kick long towards centre half for Truen stands his ground. Coming over the top, Joseph Keegan, handball straight towards Lehman. Oh, it gets one high. No free kick, still in the middle of the ground now. Booby McLaughlin's there, gets tackled, wrapped up. Travis Kelly at the bottom of the pack. Can he get it out? He can't do so. And the umpire will come in and bounce the ball. So Scotty Truen at centre half forward. Gus, does he usually play there? Yeah, I think they're looking for a running player at centre half forward instead of a big bloke and uh, just get a bit of mobility and open up a few holes there to run through. Scott gets the tap down in the end from that ruck tap out towards McLaughlin running through there without the ball was Westwick and he's tackled without it and gets the free kick in the middle of the ground. So he'll be able to push the uh, Cheetahs forward for the first time this afternoon. Goes his right boot. Good kick too just over the top of the head of Mirko Sneller. Quick kick by Truen's nice a long kick. good kick too. Great kick. Great work, Scotty Truen. And he puts the first goal on the board for Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club. And uh, kicked a few uh, last week too, uh, Gus, didn't he? Kicked four or so? Yeah, he kicked four out of last week. Had a pretty good game there at centre forward. So uh, obviously they've doubled up there and that and it opens up a bit, as I said before. So uh, the first goal on the board to Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club this afternoon, and I've just erased the scoreboard from the uh, thing. So that was a lot of good, wasn't it? I've done well there. So one straight goal, six points. Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club, East Belmont, yet to score on the Landers Bull and Wisbowski Charter Accountants. First quarter scoreboard here at Baker's Oval. The ball's back in the centre now. Ladder to do the ruck work against Keegan again. Good bounce too. Keegan goes up, gets it down to Sneller. Left foot kick smothered. Goes out towards the wing position, running off the half forward flank there was Buchanan. Tries to get it back towards Travis Kelly. Ingleson, a good little tap to Scott. Puts him under pressure, though. Gets the handball away, though, to Wigmore. 
He can set something up. The lead's on. Rathje has to sit and wait. Tries to tap it over the back. He's got no support. He picks it up himself. Oh, poor handball. Keegan's going to intercept it. He does so now. Oh, Kelly should have shepherded for him. Rathje came at him as he kicked the ball. It's going to go high. Oh, good mark. Great mark there. That was Buchanan. Had to no. sit, didn't he? Had to sit. Yeah. Sit over the top of Craig there and took a great mark. Goes long now towards centre forward. Neil's up there. Can he take the mark of the second attempt? He can't do so. Ladder tackle without the ball. Oh, there's Belmont boys going in hard there at centre forward. Free kick foul. There it is, one for the Lions. And it's going to go to Johnny Lyons at centre half forward. So Lyons now. The lead's on. Out towards Franey. Hopping back there in front though. Good mark taken by Inguison. Quickly towards Harris, who's back in the side as well for the Cheetahs this afternoon. Goes long one out up there was uh, Westwick coming across Beekman's also Keegan traps it they've got the numbers here the Lions Sneller gets it now tries to get around Craig he does so left foot kick by him's a good one long Harris comes out backs himself leaves Rainey tap away there by Posman it's too high though and the free kick's going to go to Harris advantage is paid Play. yeah good play tongue and eel gets it to Frank Anelli measures the pass towards Vinnie Lehman on the wing he takes the mark Travis Kelly stands the mark plays on now he goes long, one out, Legal with Robe. Robe in front, can't take the mark. Keegan's back there. Tackle without the ball. Stewie's got fresh air shot off the ground. Oh, good play, though, by him. Taps it up towards Cowie, running through Truen as well. It's close towards free kick found. It's going to be a push to Scotty Truen. And the man who's kicked the only goal of the day will have a chance to put his second on the board. Well, Paul's a funny game, isn't it, Chase? You sit there, you get emotional. You've got to be careful you don't get too tied up with what's happening. <laughs> I was going well, to say play on before when I said play there, and I just sort of thought I'd better stop it a bit there. Chewing out. Well, he pushed it out to the right to uh, use the breeze, but hasn't come back for him enough, so one behind to Scotty Truen. So he's kicked the total for Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club so far this afternoon, 1-1-7. And East Belmont yet to score this afternoon. The kick out's going to be attempted by Bell. He plays on. Cowie walk, went a long way back there on the mark. Oh, he put himself under pressure in the end there. Kicks out long, up towards the good mark taken. And that looks like it might have been, uh, I think that might be Sean Skeen out there. In fact, it's Joseph it is. Goes long towards the centre of the ground towards Sutherland. Can't trap it. Craig's in there. He's got support in Buchanan. Trying to break the tackle there was the East Belmont player. The umpires called it for a uh, ball up in the centre of the ground still now. Swing, that was Chris Stern, who was wrapped up there by Scragger Craig. So the umpire to come in and bounce the ball. Keegan goes out towards Ratchy in the, in the end and ladder. Gets the uh, roving work there. Long right foot kick towards Beekmans and Bell. He's held on to there, Beekmans, and will get a free kick. Played for it a bit, but got it. Westwick, the advantage paid. One out, Cowie. Up there, long. Can he? Oh, Cowie kept it in well. Has he got support? The love child's there. Did he kick it? No, he didn't. Touched. And Interesting match up there, Jason. Uh, little cookie, the love child's on a bloke about six foot two. He's only about five foot four himself. And he's had a few injury problems to this season, there, Gus. Yeah, he's, he's copped one in the ribs early, and then he had a sciatic nerve problem with the leg. So uh, good to see him back in the side. His form was good until he got injured. So that's good. Bell to kick out from full back for East Belmont. Goes out towards lines. Legal comes across. Good play. Hands it to Beekmans. He's close to the boundary line. He goes to his right boot. He's on the right side to kick a goal from that position. But Bell marks it on the goal line. Play on quickly. Short little kick is good towards Frost. He's in the back pocket now. Grandstand Short side. Goes long towards Sneller. Had to be a good kick and was. Sneller marks at the half back. Wigmore stands the mark. He's going to go inboard now into the centre of the ground. The lead's on from Sutherland. Neil's in front. Can't take the mark. Inguison tries to trap, but he can't do so. There's Nicky Lacino. He get quick off the kick off the ground towards Stewie Scott. Can't keep in the coach. Boundary thrown in front of the commentary box. And good play there from Lacino off the ground. Just couldn't quite keep in though. Bit of space behind the ruck tool there, uh, Jason. Yeah. Flick it out. Certainly is. Paul Boundary throw in. Ladder goes up with Lehman. Ladder plucks it out of the ruck up towards the love child. Can't trap it. Lehman goes through without the ball. Travis Kelly's back there. Wigmore comes at him. Oh, went high. No free kick. Still falls towards Lehman now. Left foot kick got one high as he kicked the ball away. Robes back there at centre half back now. Wrapped up by Truen. He still gets the ball out though. Up towards Inguison, who's on the wing now. Polsman comes at it without the ball. Ladders there. Keegan also. The big man working hard. Good pressure. Lions. Good play there by Ian Ellie to get it out towards Scott. Kicks it across the ground towards Westwick. One out with McLaughlin. He's got a trap, but he can't do so. Good play by McLaughlin. Coming over there, Beekman's as well. Oh, good play, Booby good McLaughlin. Play. Handball inboard, though, is poor. Stewie Scott, oh, tackle without the ball. We'll take the free kick. Just outside the centre square between wing and half forward on the outer side. So Scott now to kick it long. Cowie comes out. Good lead. Good mark. Oh, and Brainy would have liked that one. Cowie. 
has marked it just outside 50. Is that 50 metres there, Gus, that 50 oh, metre line? Is that 40? Oh, sorry. The, uh, I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. <laughs> about 47. About right? 47, all right. So he's going to be kicking from about 47 metres. It comes in now. The art of a bit of a breeze. It's swelling around a bit, but it's a good kick off the boot. Look at that. Kick it. Cowie has kicked a second goal. He loves that. He, he does too. Have a look at that. He wouldn't have kicked too many goals in his career, would he? <laughs> He's played fullback for a long time. <laughs> He's back on that 50 metre line. I've never been able to kick him from there for the last 15 years, so I've never taken any notice. But... <laughs> so, it's, so we'll call it 50 then, just yeah. for your benefit. <laughs> so, uh, well, Geelong West Cricket Football Club have started well, exactly the way that... Uh, that uh, Stuart Scott would have won it. Two goals, 2-14, and they lead East Belmont, who are yet to score. In fact, they probably really haven't had it over the half-forward line as yet in this first quarter. We've been going about seven and a half minutes in this first quarter. Back in the centre now, and it's Keegan, and also Ladder comes out towards Lehman, running onto it, Legel Posman, all wrapped. Tackled there by Legel without the ball, and Ernie Posman will take the free kick at half-back. There, now come on. Giving the ball back towards Legal, but it's going to be the free kick to Posman. At half back for being tackled high and without the ball. So play on now. Nobody was on the mark. No, he hasn't run over the mark yet. So handball to Bell across half back now. Right foot kick long. Oh, poor kick though. Three options here for the Cheaters. And Stuart Scott in the middle of Wigmore and Ladder takes the mark. Kick the lead on from Lehman. Beekman's all. Oh, Beekman's doesn't take the mark. Goes out there towards Joseph. Kick off the ground. Scragger Craig running across half-back. Handball to ladder. Further afield. Left foot kick now. Vision back towards Ian Nelly. Gets around. Can't take the mark. Hasn't got much support either at the moment. Well done, Frank Ian Nelly. Wraps it up. Kelly now. Handball towards Stern. Wigmore's going to come at him. Pushes him off the ball. Oh, a bit high there. Play on the call, Stern. It was a soft free kick. Getting back there. There's nobody there for the Lions. Lakino gets back to that. Sam. Stewie's got now. He's got a couple upfield. Oh, went to the love child. Probably should have gone a ladder short. As, I think it might have been out of bounds on the full, and a free kick is going to go to East Belmont. Just hit the line there. So it's been a problem for us all year, Jason. Instead of using the short option, we've kicked long to uh, where there's been a contest, and uh, you're better off kicking short and then using the next 50 rather than kicking 50 of the contest and wasting the first 20 that you would add short. Stern goes in towards centre half forward, tap away by Stewie Scott, who's done a mountain of work already in this first eight or so minutes of the quarter. McLaughlin now tries to give it off there towards Greg Dean. Rathji now, little left foot kick towards Wigmore, sits and waits, he's got Ian Ellie running past Keegan, comes at him, he didn't see him, he wrapped him up, that's dropping the ball. Good great tackle, tackle, Trevor great Keegan. Tackle. Frankie backed himself and uh, great tackle by Trevor Keegan. So the Samurai, he looks like a Samurai this afternoon, Keegan playing in the ruck, the captain for East Belmont, kick towards Joseph, he's good. Lehman on his hammer but he couldn't stop him from taking the mark. Not much on offer though in the forward line at the moment. He goes long. Towards Damien Kelly, ladder getting back there, takes the easy marks, had nobody against him, and uncontested, takes it at centre half back. He's got Ingwerson long, two out with Ian Ellie and Kelly, good kick, two by the big man, finds Ingwerson easily. He's at half back now, plays on, the kick in boards great to Vinnie Lehman, he takes the mark, he's got Neil running past, he uses him now, the kick short towards Beekman's over his head, McLaughlin sits and waits, takes the mark. Handball to Bell, going to put him under pressure again, but he's good enough to get his kick away. Neil getting back there, though, and takes an uncontested mark on the wing out of side. He's got Ladder running past, put him under pressure, the big man. He loses the ball too, picks it up, gives it back towards Lehman and also Keegan. Ingwerson running through the pack, tries to get rid of it. He does so. Beekmans is there, picks it up, handball back to Neil. Oh, they're stuffing around with it in the middle of the ground here. West, they could lose it. Oh, over there, high tackle, not paid. That's the way to do it, Ladder. Big, long left foot kick towards centre-half forward. Legal at the back of the pack. Running straight through. Oh, held without the ball was Robe. And he'll take the free kick at centre-half back. So, Robe now to uh, relieve the pressure. But it's a poor kick, though. And he's only given it to Darren Cook in the middle of the ground. So, the love child will push the cheaters long. The lead's on from Cowie. He ignores it. Truman was also on half a lead. Cowie now, he's debating where to go to. One on one, Cow, he should be there, mate. Oh, poor kick two. Beekman's comes over the back, can't take it. Darren Bell's there now. It's just on that 47 metre line. Goes up towards Joseph. Can he take the mark? Or pressure it out of it by Ladder. Ladder now, little left foot kick. He had 10 kicks already in this quarter. Goes short for Westwick at half forward. Truans run out. Cowie the lead from Westwick out there. Snell backing back, can't take it. Cowie straight through, full back light. Gives it to Beekman's. Back towards Truan on 47. Wrapped up, can't get the kick away. The Lions have got the numbers though. Frost now. Left hand handballs. Paul's going to put Sneller under pressure, but he sits away. It's good play there. Right foot kick relieves the pressure. They've got nothing though across midfield. 
And Justin Ladder takes an uncontested mark again. Short little kick to Wigmore. He's going to be pressured by Dean, but takes the mark. Plays on quickly. Long kick, one out. Cowie against Frost. Good use of the body. K -k -k Cowie takes a mark and lines up for his second goal. And you wouldn't think he'd kick two goals in a game very often either. This oh, could be his day. There you go. <laughs> Great vision by Wigmore there in the centre. He took off early. Looked around, or diverted around his man and looked straight long for Cow, which is, as I said before, probably the best option down there. If they kick long to him one-on-one, -on -one, there's not many blokes that are going to boot him out, mark him. He's a great mark and got plenty of size about him. So, so Cowie from 20 metres out directly in front to come in and kick his second goal, and it's a shocking kick off the boot. And he's missed. He missed to the far side, so one behind. So he's kicked 1-1, one -one, and that will make uh, Geelong West Cricket and Football Club Two goals, three, 15. It must be getting old, I think, mate. I thought that went straight through the middle, you know. Looking from here, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's why I waited to call it, because I didn't know either. It was a poor kick off the boot, but it looked like it went straight through the middle. But uh, the, both the central umpire and also the goal umpire hesitated. The kick out now has gone out towards half-back. Posman has handballed it to McLaughlin for East, East Belmont. He's going to be, be able to relieve the pressure there. Booby and go long. Good kick too. Sitting and waiting there and taking the mark was Kelly. But, oh, he put Buchanan under pressure. He's wrapped up. Free kick found holding the man. He didn't have the ball. So a free kick against Scragger Craig there. And on half forward out of side, it's going to be Buchanan now. Goes long. Oh, there's nobody there again, though. And this time the Cheetahs mess it up a little bit. Lakino though, is good enough to give it out to Ingleson. He's going to be shepherded by Scragger Craig. Good shepherd too. Ingleson now, right foot kick up towards Westwick. Goes up, waits for it. Oh, running off the back of the pack there was McLaughlin. Right foot kick up towards Franny again. Oh, and gave Neil one to go on with as he took an uncontested mark. And they've just got players running across half back. Lakino handball further towards Harris. Stewie Scott now, one out with Kelly, poor kick by Andy Harris. Out of bounds and into one of the backyards. Still looking a bit proppy there, Harrow, buddy. He's just sort of not, uh, not confident to do the turn and stuff. He has to run straight and, yeah. and yep. uh, try to straighten himself up and put it straight over the fence. Landis Bull and Wisbowski, Chandler Counts, first quarter scoreboard, 2-3-15. The Cheetahs and East Belmont yet to score. Falls to the back of the pack there. Vinny Lehman's got it across halfback. Keeps going across halfback towards Ingwerson, who's just been dropping across the uh, halfback line also. It's going to be pressured here by Posman. Gets around him. Oh, he's got Lehman and also Wigmore, but then a kick wasn't good. And only service Sutherland there at centre foot. Oh, poor kick by him as well. Aquino getting back there. Can he trap it? He's got support. Harris, he's wrapped up, but good enough Great to get work. the kick away though. Oh, ladder. Drops it. Uncontested mark. Joseph comes at him, but he's good enough to get the hands across towards Neil. Oh, Frank Annell is an absolute paddock at halfback. Measures the kick towards Stewie. He's got is a sensational kick. Has he taken the mark? He has. Great work, the captain and coach. And on the wing position, Stewie Scott. The lead's on from Beekmans. He ignores it. The lead's on from Truen. He ignores that one also. Plays on now. Short little kick into the middle. Truen came a second time and took the mark in the middle of the ground now. Great deception there by Stewie. Looked as though he's going to kick long. Blokes doubled back and he went short. Cowie one out again. Goes up. Can't take the mark. They need to rove off the back of the pack. They have Hill. Gives it to Ratchie. Going to be tackled. Gets his left foot to it. Sensational work. Jason Ratchie had a second to get it onto his boot. Did so and put it straight through the middle. Great mopping up from down the back there, Jason. They run that right from the back line, right up through the forward line and uh, and straight through. And that's where they have to uh, really do it with, off the back of Cowie, don't they? Yeah, well, they've got a, you know, the blokes, the little guys around him there, like you've got Al Beekman's over there, six foot two, and that, but the little guys have got to be at the fall of the ball. It's a windy day, so it's going to hit the deck a fair bit. Like, even blokes like that uh, got hands like Scotty aren't going to take every mark, so they read the ball right, and that's going to hit the ground a lot more than normal. Landers, Bull and Wisbowski, Charter Accountants, first quarter scoreboard, 3 3 21. Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club, East Belmont, yet to score, so 21 points of difference. We've been going about 16 minutes in this first quarter here at Baker's Oval. Ladder. And Keegan back now in the ruck. Joseph gets it. Right foot kick long towards centre half forward. Sutherland behind Neil on this occasion. Posman hits and waits, gets through the pack. Tries to handball towards Ricks. He taps it on. At the back now, Lakino runs straight through. Only as far as Posman back to Sutherland. One out now, Franey and Harris. Harris over the back. Good mark. Can he take it? No, he can't. Franey roves it off the mark there. And Franey runs through and kicks it all the way. Damn, what street's that, Gus? Elizabeth Street. All the way down Elizabeth Street, he's kicked it for East Belmont's first it goal. Post side Elizabeth Street, it's <laughs> down towards Paco now. <laughs> <laughs> so the first goal on the board there for the uh, East Belmont side, and they're one straight goal, six points. They trail Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club 3 3 21 by 15 points on the Landers Bull and Wisbowski. Charlie Counts first quarter scoreboard. Good way for the coach to start the day with a goal. And I'd say they'd need a few for him today, too. Well, he's, uh, he's often played down that position, so as a coach, he knows what's required of him. So, um, yeah, he's got a hard task here on uh, Andrew Harris. He probably 
a good duel down there. Should have taken that mark too, shouldn't he, Harris? Harrow should have taken the mark, but as I said, that wind very deceptive. Uh, but he had his hands on it the first shot. Yeah. For the second, it's outdone him. So. And he's kicked it so far down the street, Dave Franey, that we've had to call for the second ball. So somebody lucky down Elizabeth Street's got footy this afternoon. And we're waiting for the second footy to come out now. So 3-3, 21 plays, one straight goal. 15 points of difference. Ladder and Keegan. Both have seen a lot of the ball so far in this match. Ladder's probably done a little bit better than Keegan at the moment. Hills in the centre also for Blue West. Poor bounce. Joseph gets a good tap out. Frank Nelly runs off the halfback flank. Wrapped up. Scragger Craig's there. A little left foot kick out towards Stewie Scott. Can't meet at the first attempt. Tech good tap on though. Wigmore traps it. He's got time now. Left foot kick. Little. Nobody's there. Three East Belmont players get back. Joseph's one of them. Right foot kick around the corner. High. Scott and Kelly. Scott goes up. Good get. Yeah, that was a free kick towards Stewie Scott there. Play on advantage. Lehman gets it. Now back to ladder in the middle. One out goes up towards the leader. Cowie getting back there. Frost. Cowie chases it towards the boundary line. Good play. Frost. He trips over that at the crucial moment. But does see it over the boundary line for a throw in, in the forward pocket. It's in front of the grandstand here at Geelong West, which Gus tells me is going to be refurbished in the next few months, which will be good for the uh, Cheetahs. Free kick found, though. Must have been out of bounds on the full or a push to Robe in the back pocket. Stuart Scott over the back of the pack. Taps it towards Wigmore again, close to the boundary line. Pressured free kick, though, by Keegan. Too high, and Brett Wigmore to take it. Actually, it's been a problem with the first quarter for both sides, Jason. They're just a silly little free kick. So, I mean, there's probably been 10 or a dozen over the quarter, and uh, probably 9 or 10 have been unwarranted. Uh, absolutely silly. Yep, Wigmore gets the resultant free kick. Goes long towards Cowie goes up. Can't. Get the mark there. Good tap away by Frost. Lagell's in there at the bottom of the pack also. Cowie, though, fighting for it. Look at the handball to Ingwersen was sensational. Ingwersen tackled as he kicked the ball out of bounds on the full. Good pressure from the Lions' back line there. And the free kick's going to go to East Belmont in the back pocket. Long kick towards Stern. Scott and Ladder coming across. Can't take the mark. Wigmore at the back of the pack. Adam Joseph's there also. It's right in front of the commentary box now. Joseph gets a handball out towards the runner. Stern, Truen comes across and pressures him. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boundary throwing on the wing. And Gus could have nearly got a handball there. Yeah, I nearly got a spell of the ladder there. <laughs> call the trainer for the get some run up. <laughs> so Keegan and Ladder to do the ruck work now on the wing position. The home side in front by 15 points. Pretty good start by them this afternoon. Ladder in front now. Gets it out only as far as Dean. Right foot kick high. Two out. Lakino comes and backs himself. Oh, free kick could have been there. Yeah, too high. One of them free kicks I was just talking about, Jason. It's just, uh, I think Bud Coates has got to have a look at that quarter time. Yep, Craig was there. And 50 against uh, Craig also. So Buchanan will take the free kick and the result in 50 and have a chance to put East Belmont's second goal on the board. So... And obviously discipline here, he's coming straight off the ground. Is that the, the rule at uh, Cheetahs? I think they've had a talk about this sort of stuff during the week. I think the 50, uh, the 50 murder penalty is automatically 10 minutes on the bench. So it doesn't matter who you are, what you've done or how good you've played for the game. I think it's a fair rule in creating the discipline. I think it's needed. And um, you get to get 40 touches a game and give away a couple of free kicks, 50 murder penalties. It's um, just uh, mars their game a little bit. Buchanan now was trying to use the breeze there with his right foot. He pushed it out to the left-hand goal post but couldn't come back far enough. So Buchanan has kicked one behind. And that moves East Belmont along to one goal, 1-7. One and they trail by 3-3-21. Uh, Geelong West, East Belmont, 1-1-7. One, one, Sorry, Jason. Bit of a let-off there uh, uh, for West. You know, like uh, it probably should have kicked a goal. And um, he was squared up not far out. So... Uh, He's probably uh, let, let this side down just a fraction there. The key out by Harris was a poor one. Free kick's going to go to East Belmont. Wasn't touched <coughs> before it went over the boundary line. Frank Fratoli, who came on for Alan Craig there, couldn't touch the ball. So it's going to be a free kick. It's going to be Greg Dean to take the free kick. He goes towards Franey. He's got two against him in front there. Couldn't take the mark. That looked like it was uh, Stuart Scott out towards centre-half. Back Hills taking the mark in front of Sutherland. He's got Lehman in the centre of the ground against Posman. Can he take the mark? He can't grab it. Good tap on that away. And Nelly runs straight through. Sensational. Stuart Scott now has got it. He's on half four. The kick out towards Cowie. Use of the body. Couldn't take the mark. It's over the back of the pack. Oh, Bell's wrapped up there without the ball. Beekman's infringed. And oh, he's called advantage. If that's advantage, oh, I'm the Pope. Out towards Sneller. He's going to be able to relieve the pressure for East Belmont anyway. He goes out towards Dean. Oh, he's wrapped up by Ian Nelly. Drops the ball. Kelly's there. They've got the numbers now. Stewie Scott runs through and out. He's tackled, but still gets his little kick away towards Inglis and Shepherded there by Lagell. Out towards Beekman's. Handball to Westwick across half forward. Coming straight at him there was Campy. Goes out towards Ratchie. Good play. And he's still on 47, though. 
We're not calling it 50 this afternoon. He's on 47. The kick long towards Lehman. Can he keep it in? He does so. Lehman turns around, hits the post. Hits the post there. So he had an opportunity. He probably had a bit more time than he thought. And uh, has not been able to convert for the Geelong West side. So... Geelong West 3 4 22 East Belmont 1 1 7 on the Landers Bull and Wisbowski Charlie Accountants first quarter scoreboard. Kick in by Bell goes to the outer side. Poor kick, Larathji in front. And he's the extra option across the centre line for uh, for Geelong West as a marker. Takes the marker easily. The lead's on from Cowie again. All he's done is lead in this quarter. Over the back there, Kelly. He had no friends. Out towards Ingleson. Good, strong mark. Courage there shown. Running back into the pack and takes the mark at centre half forward. Pretty congested forward line, though, for Very Geelong West. Oh, and then he kicks into the man on the mark, the Joseph. So, pretty poor play there. Goes up. Neil leads subtle in the race. Can't take the mark, though, at the first attempt. He's got Frankie Fatale there. Legend. Yeah, little legend. <laughs> As called by Gus, goes out towards Wigmore. He's going to be shepherded by Neil. He's still got time. Sutherland comes at him. Did he keep it in? No, he didn't. I said vision, Justin. Oh, vision. did you? I thought, you? I thought you said legend. <laughs> he's a bit of a legend, though. I think he's one of Cookie's favourite players. I think he made him a star, uh, Frankie Fratelli. He is a legend for the spaghetti eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a pretty good job of tucking away the tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Boundary, boundaries coming on the wing. Ladder, front position. And Very trivial, that sort of stuff, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Jason. Free kicks like that sort of stuff. Free kick to ladder from the ruck contest. So he goes long now with his left boot. Lehman has to sit and wait in the middle there. Did he judge it? He came across the free kick. Going to be found. It's going to go to East Belmont, and we'll Scott it. Scott Robe to take it at centre half back. Don't agree? No, no, no. That's fine. Oh, I just okay. have a look at that where the where the ball ended up in the back. Yeah. But uh, interesting to note that uh, that's the third, third or fourth kick that Johnny Legal's given away this quarter. Yeah. Poor kick there from Hill also. Back towards Suckling at centre half back. All played on. Got gets shepherded by Sneller though. Goes with his right boot up towards centre towards half forward. Got the numbers back there again. West. Hill, handball out towards Neil, coming at him, Ricks, but he can handball further afield. Stewie Scott, who's racking up the possessions again, gets around. He's got support in Hill. Goes back there, has to sit and wait, takes a mark. Just the defensive side of the wing, out of side now for the Cheaters. They'd like a couple more goals before quarter time. Good kick, good vision. Vinny Lehman takes it, leading up from centre. From centre half forward, goes long. Ingwison goes up against the taller suckling. Good play by McLaughlin, but well tackled and dropped the ball. Ratchy. Jeez, the umpire took a long time to pay that, Jason. Uh, yep. yep, but anyway. So, Rathji will be kicking from that 47 metre line, or just outside it. And uh, we just see Stuart Scott in front of us here against Chris Stern. Stern's obviously going to have to tighten up on him. He's had a fair few kicks in this first quarter. Rathji goes in, tries to use the bruise again with his left boot. Had kicked one for this quarter, but has kicked a behind. So, uh, just not finishing off there in the forward line. 3-5-23, Geelong West, East Belmont, 1-1-7. 16 points of difference on the Landers Bull and Wisbowski Tartal Accountants' first quarter scoreboard. Blue West playing zone defence here, Jason. We yep. can see how it pans out. West goes up towards half forward from the bell kick out. Stern now oh, kicked it off the ground and unfortunately went out of bounds on the full, so a free kick's going to go to Geelong West. And it's going to be... take place, uh, Jason. Stern stand on the mark. Obviously, the bloke he's playing on is one of the best running around, and he stands on the mark, and Stewie's running around by himself. Lehman gets the... ball the... hasn't gone to him. Oh, Lehman gets the uh, free... the kick from Hill in the middle there and gave it towards Cowie the lead. And Cowie, was that paid a mark or uh, was it given high? I think it might have been paid a mark, actually. So, Scotty Cowie will kick from about 40 for his second goal. And... Geelong West's fourth. He comes in now. Kicks through the ball this time. As he just snuck it in. He's trying to... I think he's... The goal umpire was waiting for the all clear for yep. the central or else uh, he's waiting for the horns to take. So I knew you were going to go. I don't know what happened there. I think there was a few started off and he thought, hang on, what's going on here? Well, I think Scotty's, Scotty Cowie's been around long enough because as soon as he kicked the ball, he started running towards the goals just to tell the goal umpire he'd kicked the goal. He started clapping himself. And it's his second goal in Geelong West 4th. They're 4 5 29. East Belmont 1 1 7. 22 points of difference on the Landers Bull and Wisbowski Charter Accountants' first quarter scoreboard. So yeah, it was a good lead by Cowie there, yep. and a uh, good kick by uh, Lehman. I think Cowie had good hands on the ball there at the, at the initial stages of it, and then he's followed it up with a nice kick for a goal. So uh, it's one of the things he does well, doesn't he? Just runs hard at the ball. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, he's very deceptive. I mean, he's a big bloke. He looks as though he's slow, but he, he always seems to get to the contest. Mm. Even if he's out of it, he still gets there, and uh, it's one of his best traits. Keegan gets a tap down towards Ernie Posman in the middle for the Lions. Goes up towards Sutherland. Oh, it nearly took a good mark. Good body work. Yep, Neil in there also. Running through without the ball. Frank Ianelli, good pick up. Falls over that crucial stage. In fact, he fell over because he was tripped, and that's 50 because the rule is that if you get tripped, it's an automatic 50-metre penalty. Obviously, Frank was well aware of that. As soon as he had all of his yeah, He started more. Yeah, <laughs> Just make, oh, that's, I wouldn't want to be buying land off the umpire. That's the shortest 50 I've ever seen. Goes up towards Ratchy. Yeah, McLaughlin ran back into the path of the ball there. And Ratchy gets a free kick just on the centre square here at centre half forward for Geelong West. Left foot kick by him. Goes up towards Cowie. Frost against him. Good use of the body by Cowie. And stretched the arms up. Took a great mark. Well, this could be the move of the century here. Oh, well, it's just uh, to create some... Uh, we've, we've struggled to sort of get someone up forward would like to, to kick a few goals since I've retired. <laughs> 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 but, Give yourself uh, a plug, that's yeah, it. But, uh, yeah, so I just think they might have tried something different. Uh, <laughs> just back to the umpire with his land business. I just wondered if he knew that the... Uh, the rule was 50 metres or 25 metres. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, Cowie anyway. has put his third on the board and have put, has put Geelong West fifth on the board there, 5-5-35, five, five, and East Belmont a 1-1-7. One, one, so 28 points of difference late stage of this first quarter, and that is Scott Cowie's third goal. So he's... Yeah, he's, well, he's leading hard, and uh, the thing is, if, if you continue to lead, if you lead 40 times a game and get a 15, you might kick 10 goals. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how the thing pans out. If you, obviously, if you're leading, the ball's in the direction of uh, where you're going. So, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how the day pans out. Now, the change has been made by the East Belmont uh, Match Committee. Scott Robe's gone back there on Cowie now, and Glenn Frost has come up to Legal on the halfback flank. So three goals have been enough there for the East Belmont side. From Cowie, they've put Rowe back on him. Back in the centre now, Ladder and Keegan. Ladder goes up, gets a tap down, falls towards Sneller, running off the half forward flank with Scragger Craig, who's back on the ground. Out towards half back now for the Lions, but Westwick, good dummy there. Right foot kick, the lead's on again, getting across Suckling. That's what he has to do. He's a bigger man. He runs across, right foot kick by him. Out towards nobody in particular on the half forward flank. Westwick takes the mark in front of Glenn Ricks there. And in fact, it's Ray Campy. So Westwick now, and there's the siren, four quarter time. So a pretty good quarter by Geelong West there. Stewie's got to probably be pretty happy with the uh, the outcome. Three goals from Scotty Cowie. And at quarter time, they lead 5-5-35. And East Belmont are 1-1-7. The goal kick as well. The goal for East Belmont came from Dave Franey. As we said, three to Scott Cowie. And at one to Jason Rathje and one to Scott Truen as well. So 28 points of difference. Um, now, Gus, better plays in that first quarter just from for both sides. Oh, excuse me. Well, I thought, first of all, Jason, as I said earlier, the game was marred by the free kicks, and uh, it sort of makes it look a bit scrambly. They're unwarranted, and, uh, you know, that's just uh, unnecessary. If it was uh, Stewie and uh, Dave Froney, I wouldn't be real happy about that. But uh, I thought uh, Ingleson across the half-back there, even though he's on the playing on the ball, he just mopped up around half-back there very good. And I thought the ball was... Uh, he dropped a few marks with his tongue and kneel, you know, but uh, he still got in front and got the ball to the ground and where Gav sort of helped. I thought West worked well off half back line, and uh, I thought that uh, probably, you know, uh, East Belmont's half back line and, and, and their full back line, apart from with uh, Scotty kicking three goals, worked very hard as well. But uh, Buchanan on the, uh, sorry, McLaughlin on the wing, I thought he had a few touches and was playing all right. And Buchanan done a couple of good things uh, in the scrummishes. He got himself out of trouble a few times. I noticed that they uh, they took Mirko Sneller out of the centre there and threw him into the back line. And uh, I don't know what their tactic was there, whether they're changing blokes from that direction. I haven't sort of picked it up as yet. But uh, yeah, so it's uh, an interesting time. As you said earlier, I think uh, Geelong West will kick it with the wind that quarter. So it'll be interesting to see if it evens itself up at half time. Certainly will. 28 points of difference at quarter time. 5 5 35 Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club. East Belmont 117. We'll be back with the second quarter on guest video after this.